Hey guys, welcome back to another how-to video. We haven't done one for a while, and today we're going to talk about how to edit growth control mod to add additional crop types or fruit types as they are often referred to. So we're here on the Crybok map. Uh, this map is a, is, a uh, is one that I recently did a first impressions video on. I picked this map because I know it has two additional fruit types. It has rye and propagation grass. As the map author describes it in his description, I'm going to call it grass seed um, because basically that's what it sounds like it is to me. Uh, but basically, this how-to video, all the information in it, basically comes from a viewer of mine called WV Joe. Um, wanted to basically tell me that he had figured out how to add additional crop types or fruit types to the growth control mod. Wanted to know if I would be interested in maybe doing a how-to video on it and i said yeah send me the info i'll take a look at it and uh well it turns out it is ridiculously simple so full props go out to wv joe for one having the initiative and figuring it out and two getting the information to me so i can basically share it to you guys in mass and uh, i know i'm a big fan of the growth control mod I know there's lots of folks in my Discord that are a big fan of the Growth Control Mod, and I can only expect that there are even more fans out there of the Growth Control Mod uh, that may enjoy playing on maps with additional fruit types and may be wishing that they would have that same control over the standard crops that they could then exhume over the additional crops. So let's take a look here, and you can see that the Crybok map here has rye and propagation grass, I'll call it grass seed, it has additional fruit types here on the map. What we're going to do is we're basically going to show you that if we pull up the growth control menu here, or growth control information screen, you can see that we do not have growth information for rye or propagation grass. That doesn't mean that we won't have growth. What that means is the growth control mod does not have control over the growth cycles of those crops. So if you have growth control installed and you've gone in and you've changed the uh, the growth times to whatever you want, uh, you won't be able to basically affect or modify the growth times for those additional crop types. But what we're going to do is we're going to talk about that right here, right now. Let's go ahead and just exit out of the map here. And I want to show you first, here is the growth control mod on the Farm Sim website. If you go to the farming simulator.com website, go to the mod hub, search for growth control. This is the page that will come up. Go ahead and download that. And what growth control does is it allows, the mod, allows you, the player, to set particular growth times according to your own wishes for the standard crops. So you can see here in the window that it's going to take 16.9 hours for wheat to advance to the next growth stage, but only 10.7 hours for barley to advance to the next growth stage. If you haven't seen the mod review I did of growth control, I'm going to go ahead and link it up here. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out after the video. Uh, because growth control also allows you to adjust the yield and the seed consumption of all of the crop types. I'm not going to go into that level of detail uh, with respect to this, this how-to video. This how-to video is only talking about how to add additional crop types or fruit types to the growth control mod. Okay, go ahead and minimize that. And here we are. Uh, we're looking at my mod testing mod folder and we've got the Crybok map and the growth control mod here in our mods folder. What we need is we basically need to pull some information out of the Crybok map and we basically need to add a little bit of information to the growth control Lua file 
all very easy, all very simple to do. We're going to walk through it right now real quick. So I have 7-Zip installed. In the description below, I will have a link to get 7-Zip. It is completely free, completely safe to install on your Windows machine. What it does is it adds this little right-click contextual menu up that allows you to manipulate zip files very, very easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click on our map, 7-Zip, and we're going to say Extract to LS19 Crybok. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for that to just uh, finish out here. There we go. Now we're going to go into this folder. And I happen to know uh, that the root types.xml file for this map is under the maps folder and under the XML folder. Maps underscore fruit types.xml. We're going to right click on that and I'm going to open with Notepad. Again, this is an excellent application. We're going to be working in XML. Lua files are basically doing any type of editing for your farm sim stuff so i encourage you to go get that it's totally free and totally safe and once again winky linky in the description below i'm going to pull that up i've got this blowed up extra huge so hopefully it's easy for you guys to read but what we're looking at here is this xml file basically defines all of the information related to all of the fruit types in the map see we have wheat wheat straw Barley, see that it makes barley straw, oat, cotton, canola, sunflower, soybean, maize slash corn, potato, sugar beet, oilseed radish, poplar, grass, dry grass, sugar cane, weeds, and here is what we're really looking for. Here we have rye and incarse grass. These are the two new root types on this map. Move this out of the way temporarily. Let's go back here to our file explorer and let's go to a couple other maps. I want to show you some stuff. Let's go to old streams. Okay, so if we take a look at old streams, let's find the map old streams. Here's the old stream farm. And basically, if we were to do the fruit types for this map, we're going to go into maps. I don't see it listed there. Let's go to map DE. See it listed there. Sometimes you're going to have to explore a little bit. And you know, in fact, you know, the map might not even have it if it has if it has no additional crop type. So let's get out of that one. That was a bad example. Bad example. Bad example. Never go and do live examples. All right, let's go to Hoff Bergman. Go into Hoff Bergman. What I'm going to do is right click on 7-Zip and I'm going to say open archive. We're not going to extract this because we're just looking around. So Hoff Bergman's fruit types is right here in the root of the zip file. Off Bergman underscore fruit types dot XML. It's not where the uh, where it was for the Rybok map. Okay, so and if we open this, right click and edit. Okay, you can pretty much see the same format that we saw over here in Notepad plus plus. Scroll down here. We're going to see that this map has an additional crop type of clover. See, it's called clover. Let's go back here. Let's look at one more map. Let's look at Emerald Coast. Because this edit of Emerald Coast has alfalfa added. Once again, right click, open an archive. And if we go to maps, we happen to have map EC underscore fruit types. Okay, so it's named something completely different in this map. Kind of in the same, well, it's even in a different folder. Uh, then the Hoff Bergman map. And here we have fruit type alfalfa right up here, right up front. Um, before our wheat fruit type. Okay, 
So what we're specifically looking for is fruit name alfalfa. We're going to do this map. We're not going to do this map. What we're going to do is we are going to do the Krybok map for rye and Ankars grass. Let's go back here to our mods folder. And now is the good stuff. Right click on growth control, 7 zip, and we're going to extract to growth control. There we go. Go into that. We're going to right click on growth control Lua and edit in Notepad. Okay. So, what makes Notepad so awesome is that we have color coding going on here. What we're looking for is line 36. Growth control dot max num fruits equals 15. Here we have all of the in game fruit types. There's a couple of slots here that aren't used for various reasons, and there are a total of 15. What we want to do is we want to change this number. We want to increment this number up by exactly how many additional fruit types there are on the map that we are working on. This map, there are two. We're going to make this 17. Then we're going to go down one line to growth control dot fruit names. We're going to go here to the end. And we're basically going to look at the format. See that we have a bracket here. And we have a bracket here. So this is basically what's called an array. So we have an array that's starting with an open bracket and closing with a closing bracket and then a semicolon. I think that's a semicolon. At any rate, what we want to do is we want to replicate this format right here. Okay. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to highlight it. Right click, copy. And then I'm going to go here between the bracket and this quote. See, I'm between that. I'm going to hit paste once, twice. Now you can see I have three cottons listed. Here's we're going to change this 15, 16. We're going to change this 15 to a 17. Then we're going to go in here and we're going to go and change this cotton to rye. Okay, again, we're trying to match this rye. Then the next one we're going to do is we're going to do this in Cars grass. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically copy this. I don't misspell it. I like this cotton. Making sure that I don't highlight the quotes. I want to paste it. Okay. And there we go. Now we can we know we've done this right because everything looks like it should. Let's pretend that we messed up on the quote there. Now you can see the color coding is wrong. Okay, all of these are kind of a shaded color. It's kind of a, a green orange color. This is a black color. So it's telling us that something is wrong with our format. Now it's back to where it should be. And wrong with our format. Let's see. Very, very careful when you're making these edits. Back up the mod, back up the files before you change them. Ripple look and make sure that everything is exactly how it should be. I go up here, we're going to hit save. And if you noticed, you may not have noticed, this little disk was red before I hit save. And then when I hit save, it turned blue. Okay, we're going to close that out, close this out, close out Notepad++. We're going to select all of these files in our growth control folder. We're going to right click, 7-zip, we're going to say add to fs19 growth control.zip. It's now zipped up. Basically, our modified mod. Right click on this, cut. Basically, we're going to take it out of this folder. We're going to go back to our mods folder. OK, 
Okay. And we're going to paste it. Right click, paste. We're going to say, do you want to replace the growth control? We're going to say, yes, replace. It is now replaced this with our new version. Want to validate that? We can go to details. Basically, see we have a time date stamp. Now you know exactly when I'm recording this. We have now a time date stamp. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to launch the game. If things worked, we edited the file correctly. We don't have a syntax error. Uh, we won't have any errors. So let's go to Crybock. Activate growth control. Let's pull up the log file. Always like to have the log file up whenever I am opening up a mod, or a new mod, or a edited mod. Just looking for errors. Thing looked good there. Here we are in the map. Right click, dry, dry grass, because we didn't edit anything in the map. Just looked at that file. Now let's pull up our growth control and looky there, guys. We have Rogan and, uh, yeah. So we have rye and we have seed grass now listed in our growth control menu. What we're going to do is we're going to hit exit the game. We're going to first save. And we're going to exit the game. We're going to come here to our save games. We're going to pull up our save game file. Save game slot 5. We're going to go to growthcontrol.xml. We're going to open it up in our magical notepad plus plus and here we have all of the crop types all of the fruit types that are on the map including rye and in cars grass remember we added those so now we can come in here and we can change this do whatever we want 60 hours on that 40 hours on grass and basically make all the cereals 60 hours we're going to make maize 70 Potatoes, 90 hours. Same with sugar beets. Sunflowers can be 65 hours, 68 hours. And so I'm just making these numbers up. Um, poplar is going to be 100 hours. Oats, 60. Sugar cane, um, 95. Cotton is going to be 5. Rye is going to be 60. Harness grass is going to be a little bit longer than regular grass. We're going to make that 50 hours. And basically then we're going to save this. Okay, you see we're red. Save. Blue. Close this out. We're going to go back to our game. We're going to go back to slot 5. We're going to reopen it. And what we're going to notice is that all of those values have now changed. Here we are, back in the map. Pull up our growth control menu. You can now see wheat is at 60, grass is at 39 and counting down. Corn is at 70, potatoes is at 90, as is sugar beets. Poplar is at 99 hours. Rogan rye is at 60 hours. It's in sync with wheat and all the other um, grains. And our grass seed, our propagation grass, or whatever you want to call it, is at 50 hours, which is about 10 hours higher than normal grass. Basically, growth control limits when growth will happen, and basically growth will occur. The next growth stage will occur in 50 game hours for our propagation grass and in 60 game hours for our rye. If we didn't update growth control to allow it to basically control rye and propagation grass, then they would have had the standard growth stages, which probably would have been six hours. So we would have had whatever we set as our custom growth stages for all the other root types on the map but our additional fruit types of rye and propagation grass for this map, Crybog, uh, would have been on schedule. So guys, I hope that was useful. hope you found it fun. I uh, hope you found it informative. Uh, let me know in the comments if, uh, if you were looking to do this, found this helpful. 
And if you happen to have any ideas for any other how-to videos, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Until next time, happy farming.